Hey guys, this is Deox1, and I'm here narrating the first game in the finals of the first ever official Pokemon Online tournament between Yay Tears and Vaporeon. This battle will be taking place from Yay Tears' perspective, and it's the standard Wi Fi OU battle. Anyways, let's get into the battle. Tears leads off with a Gliscor, while Vaporeon leads with a Deoxys speed form. The opponent goes for Taunt, possibly predicting the Stealth Rocks or the Switch. However, Tears just stays in with Gliscor and goes for a Flight Gem Boost Acrobatics. I believe this is a Sandveal abusing Gliscor set, which is very offensively orientated, but still isn't enough to take out the Deoxys. Tear switches into Tyranitar, possibly predicting the Ice Beam, knowing that Titar would be able to take it with ease thanks to the special defense boost given from Sandstorm. However, Vaporeon just uses this opportunity to set up his Reflect, revealing that he isn't one that sets up hazards, but it's just a dual screener. Tear then proceeds to switch into Heatran for some reason, possibly trying to get a free switch into him as opponent proceeds to set his other screen, Light Screen, which boosts the team's special defense. Either way, at this point, Tears uses Protect, wanting to stall at the screens a bit, I'm guessing, as well as knowing by doing so, Deoxys can't touch him, and he'd just die from Sandstorm damage at the end of the turn. At this point, Vaporeon sends in his Terrakion, which is floating on an air balloon, and Tears, not wanting his T-Tran to take a super effective close combat to the face, he switches out into this physically defensive Celebi, which resists the close combat, as well as being hit neutrally by the Stone Edge if he if the Terrakion had that. Uh, I'll use after turn effects. And then Poron then proceeds to switch Terrakion out and send in Scrafty, possibly trying to predict the Giga Drain. But Tears makes a good play and simply goes for a T Wave T Wave, knowing that it would triple anything that he, that the opponent wishes to switch in. As well as Scrafty as long as it doesn't have shed skin. Celebi then goes for Leaf Storm, but that almost does nothing because Light Scream is up, as well as Scrafty has a base 115 base special defense stat, which is really good. And during that, Scrafty takes the opportunity to set up a Dragon Dance. And seeing, seeing that he doesn't seem that concerned about the Paralyze, he probably does have Shed Skin, but we're never 100% sure. Either way, Tear switches into his Glide score because Selby can hardly touch it at minus two, and Scrafty gets fully paralyzed. But I really doubt that matters. And Glide score simply goes for the super effective Acrobatics, which is able to kill Scrafty even with Reflect up. Reflect up. Vaporeon sends in Gorbis, possibly trying to scare Glide score out, but both of them go for the substitute. Tear is probably predicting a Shell Smash, and Vaporeon most likely hoping for a free sub against whatever. Uh, Tears brought in, predicting the switch. And now, Gliscor goes for the acrobatics, which doesn't even break the Gorbis' sub with Reflect, which is kind of scary. Either way, Gorbis goes for the Surf, which takes out Gliscor's sub. And at this point, re this point Reflect wears off, so now Glis Gliscor will most likely be able to break future substitutes with one, one acrobatics. Now he has to stay in, in fear of getting Vaporeon a free substitute and a Shell Smash, and goes for the Acrobatics to get rid of the sub. Gorbis simply goes for the Shell Smash, and so he'll be completely safe beyond the sub, and if Tear switched out, he gets a free sm Shell Smash as well as a substitute. Either way, Gorbis now goes for the Surf, now knowing that he'll be faster with plus 2 in speed. However, he misses due to Sandveal, which is very unfortunate. However, after Acrobatics and Sandstorm, the Gorbis still doesn't die and has 1% life left. Basically, his only option now was to Baton Patch, which he does into Dragonite, while Tyr just uses Substitute, knowing that either Gorbis attacks and dies from Sandstorm, or he'll Baton Patch so he'll get a free hit on anything that comes in to Substitute up. Dragonite uses Waterfall, thankfully not missing, and takes out Glyscore Substitute, while Tear simply goes for the Acrobatics, which is a solid 2 KO on the Dragonite. Tear then proceeds to switch into Tentacruel, probably fearing the Waterfall again, but Vaporeon predicts that and goes for the Dragon Claw, knowing that it hit basically anything on his team, and that almost kills Tentacruel. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll see that Dragonite does not have leftovers, so he's being slowly weared down by Sandstorm. And I believe 
Tears just wants to fodder his tentacle now, and just goes for the Scald, hoping for a burn, or just wearing down Dragonite even more, because Sandstorm will eventually take him out in, during the next turn, I believe. Either way, before he runs Dragonite, only has one more attack left, and Tears leaves his tentacle in, knowing that isn't that useful, letting just Dragonite die off from the Sandstorm damage. Now this is a double down, so neither opponent knows what they'll send in, but Tear just sends out Celebi as Vaporeon sends out Terrakion. Vaporeon switches Terrakion out. Uh, <laughs> Vaporeon switches Terrakion out, hope, probably hoping that Tears would go for the Leaf Storm and get the minus two on Celebi. However, Tears just goes for the T-Wave, knowing that nothing on his team really likes it, and the Gorbis simply dies from the Sandstorm damage. Vaporeon now sends in his Latios, which is his second last Pokemon, and Tear switches into his Titar, knowing that he'd take basically any attack to the Sandstorm special defense boost, and proceed to pr Pursuit Trap his Latios. Vaporeon, however, makes a really interesting move and goes for the Memento, which lowers the opponent's attack and special attacking stats by two, while killing yourself off, knowing that either way he'd die from Pursuit, and it's better to get the stat drops on the opponent either way. Vaporeon now sends in his last Pokemon, which is his Terrakion on the balloon. And Tears basically has the game in the bag at this point. Uh, Vaporeon has Terrakion go for Swords Dance, which is better, fire, better than firing off two close combats. But either way, Bronzong barely survives the plus two close combat, but he proceeds to use Gyro Ball, which easily kills Terrakion, which stabs super effective and with his defense drops. Anyways, that was Tears win. It was a 5-0. It was a really good battle, and I hope everyone enjoyed this battle, and it seems like the first battle in the finals goes to yay Tears. Hopefully the next few games will be ver very good, and I hope you guys all enjoyed my narration. Feel free to check out my channel if you guys really want to, and hopefully I'll see you all guys in the near future.